how to set the font preview on and off in Photoshop. Now, you might be like me, you might have hundreds and hundreds of fonts in your typeface, and if you scroll through that, if you've got the font preview on, it actually is quite slow, and it really slows things down. You can see a drag when you go through the menu. You can actually change that by going type and font preview size, and just go to, say, like medium to actually display it. You can also put it to none to actually not display it. So when you actually scroll through then, you won't see that word sample at the side. You can't change the word sample, unfortunately. It doesn't allow any sort of this. Weirdly, there's no preference to change it to something else. But anyway, so you can just go, I say, font preview size set to none. And that's it. It's removed. Right. That makes it a bit quicker. But there's also another little feature in terms of the preview as well. And that's actually when you click on the document. You click on the document and you type something, say Laura Mipsum, and then you scroll through that, you just go through the type there, and you can see what happens. It displays the actual font as you go through. Now, that's okay, and if you've got a file system, that's not too bad. But say you've got a font right down the bottom, maybe X, Y, Z at the end, and you're scrolling through. Well, that's quite slow. But work around, just basically, just go to the document, Type something, of course, you've got something there, and then click right at the start, or just anywhere, just as long as it's not selected. That's the key thing. The text does it's not selected. And then when you go through, you can see you've actually got nothing changes. So you can actually just go, and I'm just going to go down to one of those, and just you could aerial black, whatever, and then select the type now. Just select that. And then when you go back, of course, what happens is it's right at the top, Arial Black. So you can select it and it's done. So you don't have to scroll through all of the other fonts to see that change. And it's it's a bit of a quicker workaround than just think. And it really depends on your system. I mean, my system's reasonably powerful, but it's still pretty slow. So again, key thing, just click at the start of the type. That's it. Just click on the start and then just go and select the, the actual font you want to use. So I'm just going to one of the B's maybe, Bradley, whatever. And then just go back, select the type, just make certain it's selected. And then when you go back over the typeface, just select the top one and then it just changes it just to that. And that's it. Very quick, simple workaround. Pity there's no preference. That would be even better, wouldn't it? Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Uh, please subscribe. I'm always adding new videos. Also, please, if you could add some comments, I'm always happy to hear 